Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. First thing to do today, hit up breakfast. Breakfast is included with my stay here, so that's always nice. I've got a big bag of washing there. Got this drone, had it up there drying next to the fan all night. Whether it's gonna work or not, I'm a bit doubtful. Yeah, our plan is to hire a bike. Pretty much ride around the, the two islands, check it out. I'm thinking it would have been nice if my drone was working, but we'll see how we go. Got my bike, cost 10,000 kip, dropped the washing off, 30,000 kip for $3. So right now I'm on dot debt. Um, basically hiring a bicycle is like the white person activity all the tourists do. Quite a bumpy road. Don't really have any plans of where I'm going, but um, with the washing, I kind of think that they're just gonna wash it in the river, in the Mekong River. I don't actually know if they have um, washing machines but it cost down 30,000 kip. Yeah, so definitely go to Dondet if you want some more activity. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more range of restaurants, accommodation. They've got the magic mushroom shakes there. There's happy cookies to cater for the backpackers. Yeah, right now I'm heading back to Don Kong. Gonna get some lunch, but um, holy fuck, some, some um, freaking fly just went full speed in my arm. Yep, first impressions of the 4,000 islands. It's an alright chill spot. I kind of like more like city and just things to do in general. Um, I'm not the type of person to relax and read a book. I sort of get sort of get a bit anxious if I'm doing nothing for too long. Sometimes a bit, a bit lazy, but there are pretty insane sunsets. I reckon it's worth checking out. Probably spend like three nights here like I am. So right now I'm at the Don Con Somfat Waterfall Park. It's about a 15 minute bike ride from the main area in um, Don Kong. Yeah, they got a bunch of activities here like zip lining, um, you can organize for a tour. Yeah, pretty much just ridden my bike here. This isn't the main waterfall, um, it's a bit smaller. Yeah, just seen a sign for it when I was riding and um, thought I'd check it out. So one thing I've noticed since being in Lao is they're not the best um, at spelling English words. So simply the long guest, long guest in Lao. Yeah, that actually looks like a lot of fun by the way. Thing is, I don't have a debit card, or for me to use up all my cash, it's going to be a bit of a worry. And I did do a zip line in Sentosa Island in Singapore. It was a bit disappointing, but I think this one looks a lot cooler, maybe. So I was just looking at some people do the zip lining there. It looks quite slow, it doesn't really look like it's going to be very thrilling. I guess since I've done the Nevis bungee jump in New Zealand, nothing really will give me that same sort of adrenaline rush. Yeah, other than that, the waterfall itself, it's not too impressive. Worth a look if you're on Don Kong. Made it back to the crib. Once again, I got ripped off. Well, you can get ripped off, but I um, paid 70,000 kip for that meal. Pretty expensive. Shouldn't be going to the hotel place because um, it's always going to be a lot more expensive. Got my room done. I wonder if they fixed the um, shower curtain. <laughs> oh, they fixed it. Oh, so this is how it goes. Oh, they fixed the shower curtain. <laughs> Pretty funny. Plans for the rest of the day. And they probably chill. There's not too much else to do here other than chill what you do here, the 4,000 islands. So it's about 5.30 now, just gonna head out for the sunset. This is the state of my drone. I really should have picked up some rice earlier. I'm starting to think it's too late, but when you turn it on, usually like it will flash green lights and like yellow lights, but all red, I have not seen that before. Yeah, it's pretty disappointing because um, I've still got a bunch more traveling to do. Lots of good scenery, like even today, I visited some pretty cool waterfalls, I would have loved that. There's not much I can do. If I was at home and I had rice available and like some screwdrivers I could open it up and really work on it, not much I can do, like I said. So I'm gonna head out for this sunset now. So 
so this here was a spot where I lost my drone so pretty much it was coming in and it clipped the edge there and then I went under I went under there so um I was bringing it in because I got these trees so it has to come like at this height and I tried to land it on my hand yeah it was coming in clipped there and then rolled off into the water I had to go down and get it that's a story but here's a sunset spot So just had dinner there. It cost me 70,000 kip. What I got was like a sweet and sour chicken stir fry. I got some sticky rice with coconut and a coffee banana shake. Yeah, definitely a lot cheaper than um, getting it at a hotel. Yeah, sometimes it's just convenient to go to your hotel and get food. Yeah, one thing, um, I picked up my um, washing there and yeah, the locals here, they're really, really friendly and um, down to earth. Yeah, plans for tomorrow is to hit up the biggest waterfall in southeast asia don't know it off the top of my head what i've heard is there's 8 a.m and 11 a.m the boat rides um leave from um don yeah gonna have to probably wake up pretty early i'll catch you in the next vlog